Hey everybody, what's up? In this video, I want to show you how to use Isotope Ozone's tonal balance control to create your own reference target curve and use this curve on your mix or master. So let's go right into the session. The track we are having in front of us here is the project from the PML masterclass I have recorded. And in the masterclass, we are using a reference track, which is on top of the project. And we are creating a track from scratch. So the reference track is the reference for our tonal balance control, tonal balance reference. So to uh, yeah, be able to have a nice reference, you need, of course, a nice reference track, yes, but I'm using one of mine here mostly because of copyright issues and I don't want to get any copyright strike and stuff, so I'm just using one of my tracks. Usually when I do this for my productions, I use a different track, like from someone else, like Umek, Spectre, or Sama, or whatever, something where, where I want to, to go to. Let's have a short listen to the reference. This is a preview. To create a specific target curve for Tonal balance control, we need to take a small part of our reference track, so not the whole track, because if we would take the whole track, we also would like to analyze the parts like here, the break or the intro or the outro section. And tonal balance control would show us, for example, that we need less bass than there is usually in, in the track and all the other areas. So this is why we're using a part where all elements are playing. So like percussions, melodies, uh, synthesizers, all the bass stuff is going on. So for that specific track, it's this part here, which is looped already. And if you want to create the target curve, then you just mark the part from your track you're using and just shake it a little bit and uh, press, this is important, command J to consolidate this small part because if you would now um, the next step is dragging it out and if you would drag just the shaken part out then you would drag out the whole track but we don't want to drag, drag out the whole track we just want to drag out the short part so the consolidated part of the track and in the next step we are opening tonal balance control Usually it looks like whatever you use here, for example, EDM, yeah, it looks like this. And when you hit this burger menu here, you have create target from audio file or create target from folder. So from folder just means when you do this step, like, I don't know, five times or 10 times, which means taking out a small full but full frequency wise full part of the reference track or tracks in that case put them all into a folder then you can make a reference uh, curve from from a folder but we want to create a target curve from an audio file and yeah here's our audio file i just dragged it to the desktop and when i open it then we have this very narrow bands for the frequency range and for the balance so let me prove that we are right 
when we play now the reference track, it is, of course, in that area. So let's go. And now, what is important, if you want, actually, it's just here as custom and just belongs to that Ableton or whatever DAW you're using a project. So if you want to save it as, yeah, as a custom profile you want to pick here, like I have the Umek one, then you need to save the custom target as, and then we can call it tutorial, like for example, the one I did before, save it with a new name or replace an old one and then we have the tutorial in here at like T. So and now what is next is you use the tonal balance control on your master. Actually I have it on the reference track. Now I put it on the master. It's the last element of the chain and yeah now we play the track from the master class a little bit I think the part with the most elements is also that part here. And then we open tonal balance control to get an idea if we are totally wrong or not. So let's go. Okay, and what you can see here, uh, we have a way too much bass. The synths are already pretty good and we have a way too less top end. And in the end, this is just a balance. So it means uh, when I increase the top end a little bit, automatically in tonal balance control, the low end would go down. So this is what we can try now. Just as an example, I don't want to tell you know, how to mix the track with that plugin I just want to show you yeah how, how it works and how to create that curve but let's go into the percussions and make them one one re uh, one possibility would be to make them just louder this is what I do now or you can use specific elements or make them louder or you can boost specific areas in in frequency ranges because frequency ranges are written down here like 2000 to like 20k so 2k to 20k which is most probably percussions. We can just solo them to hear what is going on. So yeah, I think the narrow band is annoying here in that part when you hit solo anyhow. And I would just boost them like, let's say one dB. How much was it before? Yeah. So 0 0.7 and then let's check again. Okay, cool. So we're a little bit closer and what we can do now is we can boost a little bit the very top end of the percussions to increase that one. But um, I'm not sure if I really want that, but just to demonstration. And now you can see our track is totally in the tonal balance. I mean, we have super narrow bands, so it does not need to be exactly into that area because when you open like the standard presets here from the tonal balance control, you can see, uh, I mean, they are way bigger. Uh, for me, a way too big. So, but when I, for example, use my techno preset, which I'm using most of the time, or when I use my Umek preset, then you can see they are a little bit wider. That's the reason why I can tell you now, okay, now it is good as it is because you have that range where you can move a little bit. You don't have to be exactly on the line. Yeah, so it's just to get the feeling. And in the end also, uh, your feeling and your taste is also important to do this kind of stuff. 
So yeah, basically this is the video. I hope you will learn something. If you have any questions regarding that topic or anything else, just let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and blah, blah, blah. You know, guys, I have to say that. So thank you. Peace.